Chrome grill, deep red paint, flame graphics, we definitely need to take a closer look at the Traxxas Fortec 3.0 Hot Rod. Well, RC drivers, I like it. I like it a lot. You know, when we reviewed the Fortec 3.0 Corvette, I saw a lot of people say, I wish there was another body style for the new longer platform. And look, Trax is delivered with these new hot rod trucks and uh, a coupe, actually. These cars are available in a number of different colors. And uh, obviously, you know, we've got the truck version here. I really love the look of this. And, you know, I, I think it was worth the wait. I think Trax is really delivered. They knew we wanted something else. And, and it's just something different. I, I can't remember the last time I built an RC hot rod. I think I had a Parma, uh, one of the Parma cars a long, long time ago, but it's really cool that Traxxas delivered these factory five style vehicles for us. And, and let's obviously take a closer look at the truck version here. Now let's start off at the front with the chrome grill. This is a really nice chrome grill, really well done. And then we've got the chrome headlights next to it. And these are LED equipped from the factory, which is really cool because I had to go and install the lights in my Corvette. Not too big of a deal, but it's cool that it's already here in this truck and I don't have to worry about it later. I mean, obviously you're gonna wanna see this lit up at night. It's really nice that they installed that kit from the factory. We've got some chrome mirrors on the side and let's jump over to the decals here. So we got these nice flame graphics and uh, I'm cool with them being uh, graphics, uh, decals that are on the body versus something that's printed and molded in there because when you do that, it could be shifted a little bit depending on how I put the plastic on the mold. So I'm totally fine with that being a decal. And then check out the hood decal here. We've got actually a little pinstriping detail throughout the hood, even on the roof panel as well. Chop top look on the body, these nice rolling fenders. And look, look how nice and narrow this is up front, just how it should be, nice and scale. And I'm gonna show you how they did that later on, but let's turn this around so you can check out the back of this. I've already pulled the body clips off. There are two body clips, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wish they had a clip in the back like they did with the Corvette to release the body. Um, but nonetheless, two clips is, uh, I guess it's okay. But like the rolling fenders out back, we've got these little LED lights in the back as well. Red lens over the LED lights. Tracks this logo on the back panel. Really nice custom looking truck. Now, as I mentioned, they are available in a number of different colors. Uh, actually, just the red and the silver. And then the coupe is available in two colors as well. Check out the wheels on this. Um, I think they call them salt flat wheels. I, I am not that deep of a hot rod guy, but uh, they do look pretty cool. I like the matte black on the inside, the chrome lip around there. And it is their larger wheel and tire package that we saw on the Corvette. Like that look. I mean, just looks so custom. Got to look awesome on the shelf or rip around in the parking lot. All right, so it's got two body clips in back. And to remove the body, you just simply lift up on the back and slide it forward. There is a little clip in the front. I'll show you that. There's the clip and it goes right into the new front shock tower. So taking the body off is fairly easy. There is the wiring underneath, really nicely done, all clipped in uh, out of the way so it doesn't get caught up in everything. There is the mount for the front grille. There are those taillights out back. Nice looking body overall. All right, so here is the Fortec 3.0. Now we've gone over this with the Corvette review. We've gone over all, a lot of the details uh, internally with the drivetrain and everything in our Fortec 2.0 review. So I'm just gonna go over the changes between this car and uh, what we've done before. And obviously the big changes in the front with the shock tower, uh, as I just mentioned, they've got the mount here where the clip goes in for the body. And then it goes right down to this widespread lower shock tower. And this is how they got the front of the body nice and narrow, nice and scale, is to put these smaller shocks on that they got off of their Latrax brand. Uh, you've seen these before on the Latrax rally, and they even use these shocks on the TRX4 tracks. So, uh, you know, these parts are readily available. 
And at first I was like, well, is there enough suspension travel with these small shocks? Do they feel like they're going to suspend the car? Are they too soft? Is it gonna roll too much? But these actually feel pretty good right out of the box. And for cruising around, I think a lot of people are just gonna cruise around parking lots with it. I think those shocks are gonna work just fine. So. Pretty neat setup. Uh, interesting how they went into their parts bin and found stuff that's going to work on multiple levels. All right, up front here, no big bumper. We just got this little stubby bumper up front. Obviously, you're gonna want something small and uh, hidden so you can see the front of the body more than just a big RC car bumper out front. And then behind it, we get into the suspension that we've seen before. Everything is durable, works really well. The drivetrain, really good. Uh, sealed gear differentials, front and rear with steel drive shaft in the center. Uh, out back, similar suspension setup, uh, you know, just uh, lower arms, fixed upper links. And then the rear shock tower has obviously been changed as well. They went and redesigned it to use the smaller shocks. And uh, they have this body mount out back. That's where, you know, you put your two clips in. It is adjustable out back in case you want to rake the front of this thing. That might look pretty cool. But uh, that's really about it for changes. I mean, like uh, the, the chassis here is the extended version, nice honeycomb bracing throughout. It's the modular design, easy to take apart. Uh, battery strap fits lipos and nickel metal hydride batteries. Plenty of room in there to move the battery around if you want to. Uh, we've seen the electronics before, your standard 2075 servo, the XL5 speed controller, uh, Titan 12 turn 550 motor, those all work just fine right out of the box. Another change that they did make here is the uh, Corvette has the radio box up on top of the servo. And I like that they moved it back down over here to the open, it was an open space on the Corvette, but they went and filled the space up with the, ra the radio box here. I like that, that's much better. Much cleaner look through uh, the, the chassis when you're working on it. Uh, here's the little pigtail to go empower the LED lights. And that's all you really need to know about the Fortec 3.0 35 hot rod truck here. Uh, you know, treaded tires, these actually grip pretty well uh, as we found on the Corvette. And I'm really looking forward to running this thing. But first, before I do that, let me just show you really quick what else comes inside the box. It comes with the TQ radio system, your usual paperwork, instruction manual and stuff. This is your high speed pinion gear. So you go swap that out, throw a nickel metal hydride battery in there. You'll hit the 30 mile an hour mark that uh, they are uh, showing off on the box there. Your basic tools, some extra body clips. I like the silver look. Maybe I should have went with the silver. Now I'm happy with this red body. It looks absolutely awesome. All right, let's get a battery in here, head outside and have some fun.
We don't get a lot of on-road cars in here to test, so when the hot rod showed up, I jumped on this review. I pushed aside crawlers and monster trucks, and I had to show you guys some more cool on-road action. You know, we just reviewed the Corvette. I had a lot of fun with that. And this, I had a lot of fun with this as well. It pretty much handles the same. There's a little bit of different handling trait between the two, but overall, this is a fun car to go rip around in parking lots. In fact, I went to multiple parking lots with multiple batteries, and just had a blast kind of sitting on the back of my truck driving this thing around just kind of having fun watching it go uh you know they did a great job with the four tech chassis we already know that uh you know the car handles really well uh for a stock car i was a little concerned about the gtr shocks how would they handle and i think they do just fine this truck is a little bit looser in my opinion in the rear than the corvette uh it may be because of the gtr shocks uh but that's just something i noticed in the handling i don't know if i would actually change it though because it was kind of fun to adapt my driving style to you know kind of drifting the rear around a little bit when i was driving it at higher speeds it's fairly quick out of the box it is a brush system and honestly i think i'm going to leave this one brushed uh, it was fun just cruising with it as is where with the corvette i think that one needs a little bit more speed to it and i, I want to put a, a vxl system in that uh, but this thing steers well. It looks really cool out there. Uh, there were a couple people that actually pulled into the parking lot, parked uh, while I was at the theater, and watched this thing drive around. The, the, the theaters aren't even open right now, so they came to watch this thing, which was really cool. I had so much fun with it. Uh, there's really nothing to complain about with it. Uh, the tires uh, do have some traction to them. Once they heat up, it was actually a 96 degree day, the rocks will start to stick to them uh, because they are so sticky. And when you power through corners, you'll see the wheels chatter a little bit. It really doesn't hurt the handling of it, but just something I noticed. And the other thing I wanna tell you about the, the tires is they do wear rather quickly. With the tires on my Corvette, those are already shot from me blasting around the parking lot with it. Uh, and this car is already sh starting to show signs of wear. And that's just something you have to think about. If you're driving this thing hard, you're probably gonna have to buy some tires sooner rather than later. Uh, I did get a rock in the spur gear. This is a closed drivetrain and I got a rock in the spur gear. So there's a hole in there uh, that um, will let stuff in. So just be aware of that. As soon as you hear any clicking, stop, go pull the four screws off the cap. Get that rock out of there with a hobby knife or something like that and uh you know you could be on your way maybe if it gets really bad you'll have to replace the spur gear but it's not too bad working on this car uh the chrome rims are chipped a little bit for me plowing through some rough stuff in the asphalt uh it was fun kind of just jumping over the little gaps in, in the parking lot uh but that's really about it oh the tires do rub on the body a little bit so uh get yourself some tape and put it in the fender wells because if you do push this thing hard through the corners you'll notice some rub then uh that's it guys that's all you need to know about this truck it's fun it's cool if you are a hot rod fan uh yeah definitely add this to your collection Traxxas uh, did it again uh, they they gave us another cool body option for the Fortech 3.0 really cool chassis this thing is fun I, I i bet you the coupe is as well all right let me know what you think about the truck in the comment section below while you're down there hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell throw this video a like and we'll see you back soon for some rc driver videos